Hi guys, this is a quick update stroke news video. There have been some exciting developments. You know what, I've just realised, I I think I need one of those, you know those pieces of music you hear when, when news comes in, like breaking news, and it, da, 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 you know, only not quite sounding like that. I need something like that, don't I? I need a breaking news What's the jingle? That's the thing. I need a breaking news jingle. I am already off the point. Obviously, the big news for our community is the fact that mod configuration menu has been released by Reg, 2K, Nyanka, and Shadow Slasher 410, as has the Skyrim script extender for special edition. It's an alpha build, but hey, it's a build and it's been released. The arrival of the mod configuration menu, or MCM as I will now call it, is really great news for Fallout 4 mods. I am going to download this and convert all of my mods from those horrible tapes, which wasn't a terrible solution for this problem, and then convert them for this new system. I don't know whether I can do that for the Xbox ones at the moment. I don't think so, because it does require F4SE. As you can tell, I've not had time to download and try this yet, and that is because this week is ridiculously busy. I am going on a business trip tomorrow. I will tell you all about it when I get back. And of course, it's made this week a bit hectic. I've been trying to get stuff done, and I've not actually had a chance to test this out. But I will do so as soon as I get back, and I will, of course, convert my mods. Oh, and if for some odd reason you really have no idea what MCM is, it is a mod that gives you options for your mods. It makes them very user-friendly, and it gets rid of the need to have all these in-game tapes to change all your settings. We've had them for Fallout New Vegas, and we had it for Skyrim, and it was absolutely brilliant. It was a, a bit of a game-changer when it came to the modding scene settings. You know, I mean, it really did make everything feel a lot more professional. So, all around, this is great news. As is the fact that Skyrim Script Extender for Special Edition is now available in Alpha. This is actually the most exciting news. This could indicate that we're going to see our favorite mods, things like Sky UI for Skyrim Special Edition. This is brilliant news. And yes, I am going to test this out and I'm going to start converting all of my mods over to the Special Edition if I can get them working. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to. So Immersive Hood for the script, uh, sorry, for Skyrim Special Edition, it's going to be available, obviously for the low, low price of $10. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Put down the pitchforks. Um, and yeah, I will get that done as soon as possible. This is really an exciting time for modding, and it's I think it's something we needed to take our minds off other things. I'm really looking forward to getting back into modding with with a positive vibe. So this is this has actually really got me very exciting, not excited, not just for a possible Skyrim special edition playthrough, but for a renewed passion for modding. As I've mentioned, Let's Plays, let's cover that next. I am obviously continuing on with the Prey Let's Play. I've played quite far ahead, actually. I am I'm way ahead of where I've posted. I think I've posted episode 11. I've got I've got at least 20 more episodes done, possibly more. I'm not totally sure, judging by the footage. The Bruma Let's Play has ended and you're going to see the, the last few episodes this week. I don't have anything recorded to replace it yet. I'm a little behind schedule on that, but I am thinking it's going to be Hellblade. That looks like a very interesting game. Obviously, on the fantasy-themed games, Skyrim Special Edition is almost certainly going to be something that happens, and if the script extender is stable and does work and does allow us to take the the essential mods that I'm looking for, which at the moment for me is SKSE, uh, sorry, Sky UI and my own immersive hood. If I can get those two mods working, I'll pretty much try 
a whole bunch of new mods and you know this is this again as i've said exciting times i'm still intending to do the odd third game add another game to the rotation something short and something different i have a candidate that i really do want to try out it's very short but right now, time is a little bit of an issue, as you as you know. The mod apocalypse has been taking up quite a lot of my time. We have these new mods, and this business trip is, of course, causing a little chaos for me. I think I should be able to get it started reasonably soon. I am beginning to get used to my new nighttime schedule. For those of you that don't know, I'm pretty much on night shift now because th there is so much noise during the day outside my apartment. In other news, I am now verified on Vidme. I have the little purple tick mark next to my name. And more importantly, I can now upload as many videos as I want and for as long as I want. The videos that are there at the moment are just the pre-stream chats that I have with the guys I play Borderlands 2 with. In the last one, we gave away a bunch of game codes. And for a lot of you, this is probably just filler content. This is more of an experiment to evaluate Vidme as an opponent, sorry opponent, competitor to YouTube. It's not really a serious channel at the moment. I will be posting stuff there every week, but it probably is the sort of stuff most of you are not interested in. You know about it, you can, you can follow me there if you want, but you can also completely ignore it. If anything changes, if I start posting really important content there, I will of course inform you. And finally, in merchandise news, the I don't need a personality, I've got a shotgun t-shirt and mug will be disappearing in a few days. I'm going to be bringing back some of the standard logo stuff and perhaps adding things like an iPhone case. I do have a lot of other ideas. We've had a lot of things requested. We are working on things and uh, I will try to, to please as many people as possible possible without actually spamming you with stuff. Uh, this particular t-shirt will be disappearing. If you want to pick one up, you're going to have to do it reasonably soon. A big thank you to everybody that uh, bought one. This did seem to be a very popular item, which is slightly worrying, all things considered. I did order two myself, but my girlfriend has told me that she will kill me if I wear them around the children, which is fair enough. Absolutely fair enough. And hopefully next time it will be something that uh, she might approve of or at least <laughs> not understand. Anyway, guys, that is it for the Gopher News. I am going to go away now for a few days. Don't worry, the videos will continue as normal. I have got everything prepared. Uh, and when I get back, I will probably have more news for you. So look forward to that and I will see you guys there.